Hello everyone, this is Tripper, and today we are playing more chivalry medieval warfare. Now, if you know me, you know that I like taking heads. And what is the best way to take heads, you might ask? Well, I would answer. The kind where you disassemble the neck so that the head comes off the body. By definition, that is what beheading is. Today we're going to teach you how to take heads. Alright? Now, I can't really do this in Deadliest Warrior because that game's animations are somewhat broken and it's harder to take skulls. So, I'm going to teach you how to do it in Medieval Warfare. I'm going to start with this knight. Now, the first step to taking heads is being better than the other guy. The best way to do that is that. Now, as soon as you've killed the person after the first round of a duels match, you want to get in line so your crosshair is right at their neck. This way, the head will be disassembled from the body instantaneously. It is quite beautiful indeed. Now, that is the simplest way to take heads. I'm going to show you a somewhat more complicated way throughout the video. Let me see if I can... Uh... Okay. Let me see if I can get him in a panic-blocking mode. He was just in a panic-blocking mode. That was perfect for it. I'm going to try to take his head in a... Okay, now here we go. Do you care for your head, sir? Doesn't look like it. Oh, darn it. Okay. It didn't succeed that time. Now, as you saw, I got a little bit cocky with my head taking there. I almost died, in fact. But I was trying to show you how to crush your opponent's head with a poke. Some weapons have a blunted stab, such as this hatchet. This hatchet I'm going to be using the entire video because the Man-at-Arms is arguably the best class to take heads with. I might pull out the Knight's Maul just to show you the crushing power that it can have on skulls. But when you are taking heads, you want to deal the first few blows with the overhead, but you need to realize the health capacity of your opponents, because sometimes it can be lowered rather fast. Okay, let me see if I can show you the Maul now, just for funsies. And I believe the Vanguard is a one-hit, one-kill on the overhead. All right. Now, we are going to show you fine people how to crush someone's head with the maul. The best way to crush someone's head with the maul is not through these, not through these, but through the overheads. And the best way to do that is via dragging. I'm going to show you kind people how to drag now. Oh, skilled player. Oh, caught me in the middle of a block. I like it. Oh, he knows his party. I mean, his, uh, competition. <laughs> oh, he even fainted me. Very nice. Let me see if I can do that again. Preferably to a stage where I can take his skull. What I was... What, he, this guy is... A, crushing people's skulls with the mole is quite a bit more difficult than any other weapon. Unless you're very well... Well... Well practiced with the mole. It takes a lot of practice to actually one hit, one kill with them all. You need to be able to take people on. There we go, kind people. You have witnessed the crushing of a skull at the hands of the mall. That was quite gorgeous. Oh, one hit, one head, as I like to say. Well, we got that out of the way. Now I'm going to try to show you the fastest head taking humanly possible with the hatchet. Now, there is no head-taking like a fast head-taking, because fast head-takings are really, really fast. Ooh. Give me a run for my mouth. No, 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 no. Can't have that, sir. Oh, no. It was premature. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Oh, here is another cool thing you can do with heads once you're done. I'll show you at the end of this round. Once you chop off your opponent's head, you can then crush it with the butt of your hatchet. You can do this by simply prodding the cranium twice. This is not very difficult. I'll see if I can do it before the end of the round. The dual round, I mean. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. No. We shall do it next round, I promise. <laughs> You probably know what it looks like, though. You know what? I'll, I'll show you it right now. So as soon as I get out of this thing, you just bop it, and 
And, okay, it's not an entity anymore. Never mind, we can't do it with that body. We'll do it with this body. Where are you going? Come back here, I long for your head. Okay, you prod it once to take the helmet off, and the second time, it just goes... Kablooey! And it's gone. Ha 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 ha. Alrighty, now let's, let's, I guess we are going to try different classes today. The Vanguard's sword is quite good at taking heads at a distance. Oh, I dare say, sir. Looks like you have lost your head. Where do you think you're going, kind sir? He's not a kind sir, his head is about to be taken. What am I talking about? Ho ho ho. Come hither. Okay. The overheads are good for softening them up, but what you want to do, you want to poke, come hither, you want to poke, and boop. Oh, you see the beautiful parts of his brain just fell to the floor. Oh. And then his eyeballs, oh, those beautiful eyeballs, they just went pop. <laughs> oh, I'm quite a sadistic human being, aren't I? I really am. Please don't report me. Mechanism. Well, we're about to see the mechanisms that transmit blood to your head. Hey, hey, hey. Come hither, gentlemen. Man, gentleman. Oh. I much prefer the, uh, whatever this weapon is called. For head taking by the vanguard. Because its range is humongous. We find ourselves in disagreement. Come hither. Come hither, good sir. I know you can take the tidings. Oh, the taunts are on my side. Oh no, not the taunts, the faints. Yes, faints are quite good at taking skulls because you can simply... Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I meant to do that. <laughs> We're going to see if I can... We can faint our way to a head. Because heads are the only thing that matters. Hey, hey. Come hither. Come hither. Oh, come now, you can do better than that. You're a douche, and you know it. Oh, that was horrible. I'm so sorry, sir, but I require your soul. Well, it seems that the heads are not being kind to me on this day. Oh, goodness. We're gonna go back to specialized head-taking experience, all right? We're gonna see if we can take a head while they're alive, and by taking a head, I mean just chopping, lopping it off. This is quite a bit difficult. I've been trying to do that for the last duel. Um, hey, player. Player. Hey, player. We are in agreement. Okay. Um, I'm gonna see it. Since he's AFK, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I do apologize. I'm so sorry. I, I usually don't attack AFK people. I'm a bad person. No, sir. Oh, almost. I took his arm, but that is not what we are going for. We are going for pure heads. Boop. Boop. And that is what matters. Now, we are going to try to take his head. Now, I want to do it. Okay, that's odd. I don't want to win. I want to take his head, damn it. Let's see. We can take this guy's skull. Now, there is a tactic to this. It's not called tactics, the taking of heads for no reason. Or tactics, decapitation, or whatever I feel to call them. But he can't be dead. Help me, no! I'll be one, you're only hope. Okay, now the taking of heads is upon us. I got this. No! So close. And yet so far. You see, what I am doing, I am hitting him across the midsection. I'm not hitting him at the neck area that would result in a beheading. It's very difficult to do. It's the very slim line that you have to actually hit. Now, see if I can get it this time. It's very difficult, though. I'll have you know. I will see if I can make it happen now. Okay, we've gotten the preliminary hits in. Oh, so close. I was almost certain I would hit him that time. Well, we shall try it this duel. 
Now, I find actually that the dagger is somewhat better at taking skulls in this regard. We're going to test it this time and see if it happens. Come hither. And daggers are extremely um, prophetic. Prophetic? Now, they're very advantageous to be used against... What are you trying to do against man-at-arms? So we're going to see if we can soften them up. What are you doing? We need to soften him up before we take a skull. And then... Almost. Darn it! I done took the wrong limb. Okay, there we go. The dagger also creates a beautiful arc with heads. Quite nice. Your brain is as dry as a biscuit after a long voyage. Yeah, his brain is also about to be mush. Oh, goodness. That lag teleport. Yes. Alrighty. No, dagger. What are you doing? I don't understand the premise of your experiment. No. Just one more. I hate you. I hate you like the heads that I have not been able to take. No. Give me it. Give it out. No. <laughs> Why is it so difficult to take heads? Why is it so difficult? Ha. Huh. We're about to try something else for these final two duels to see if we can get our heads. We're going to try the broadsword. Now, the broadsword is obviously pretty broad, so it catches heads pretty easily. We're going to see if it can actually happen. Snots. Oh, perfect. Be able to take his head like a chunk of butter. Out of a bigger chunk of butter. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that analogy. Probably somewhere. Now... To properly take heads, you need to have a knowledge of the health of different classes, or else you will prematurely strike them. Oh god, what just happened? Darn it! So close! You saw that blood coming off of his chest. It was just inches away. Mere inches. Now, if you do immediately take their skulls, you want to make it your primary goal to take the rest of their limbs. Of course. If you do not take their skull as soon as you kill them, though, you must take it off of their dead body. It's very odd. So close. One more. Oh, goodness. Where are the head gods today? Oh my god, his body's just in limbo. Oh, come hither now. I will not twerk with you, thank you very much. Now I must have his head. Oh, goodness. Don't crossbow me. Please don't crossbow me. Now, unless you are using a regular bow, which can actually blow heads up, Using a crossbow is horribly dishonorable. Negative. Who do you think you are? You nug nut. Oh, I took his arm once again. What does the world come to? Where a man gets an arm instead of a head. Oh, goodness. Why is it so difficult? Arches are usually quite easy to just pop the heads off. Because in relation to their body, they're quite small. Oh, that beautiful serpentine. Come hither. I, I can teach you the ways of my awesomeness. No, I'm just kidding. I won't teach you anything. Except the taste of your own blood. Oh, that's right. You can't taste it anymore. Because your head's gone. Gosh darn it. Well, I'm rather disappointed that I was unable... That I was unable to take a head in the midst of a duel. Oh, it, sh it should be so easy, but it is so difficult. Why? Why, let us see if someone else can help us with this regard. Oh, I believe this man, I believe this man is about to have his head lopped off. Come hither. Come, Epic. Face your doom with honor and intrinsic regard. Come on. You can do it. Opponent of Epic. I don't know who his opponent is, but hopefully he lops his head off soon. Come on, one of you. Quickly! Oh, bad move by his opponent. No! No! Oh, one of their heads. Oh no! Sever his head! Do it! Do it for the glory of me! Yes! He did it for my glory and no one else's. Now, as you can see, that is the vertebrae and those are the eyeballs. See, I know my anatomy. Don't tell me that I don't. Frytoon Thunderforge. Forge. Forge? Thunderforge. Hey. Cool name. Oh, that was that was the most awkward 
<laughs> lunge ever. Oh god. Ooh. Oh. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, Frytoon. This is your head to take. Come on. Uh, almost great blocking, but a little bit too liberal. On the blocks. <laughs> Come on. Aggressive. One more. Just. Oh, take his head. I don't know why he, <laughs> he was spaced away from the body, but it happened. Well, I hope I taught some of you something about taking heads. As useless as, as this tactics is, hopefully it, 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 it elicited some laughs here or there. And a head as well. I ended up taking many, many heads this video, and I quite enjoy it. Like, favorite, subscribe if you enjoy taking heads and decapitation in general, in chivalry, not in real life. Thank you very much. And I will see you kind people later. Happy head taking.